bedtime story. Baz the Buzzard As Baz the Buzzard began to grow, he became more and more curious. Soon, his curiosity led him away from home to a strange new place, a place without the love of his family. It didn't take Buzz long to realize what he was missing and what he really wanted. Welcome, stranger. I'm Buzz the Buzzard. You must be here for some advice. But I have to tell you, the old water hall has dried up. There's no fast food restaurants, and the closest hotel is 100 miles due south. Now, how can I be of assistance? Ah, I understand. You're just waiting for the red rock for us. Then you saw me and decided to have a closer look. Well, while you are here, let me give you some advice. It's free. There is nothing more important than your family. That's it. Oh, I guess I could add that friends could be considered your family. Your family doesn't just have to be your mom and dad, or step-parents, or brothers, or sisters, or cousins, aunts and uncles. Well, you get the idea. Your family is all the people who love you and all those you love. Not long ago, the sky around these parts was full of buzzards. Yep, my family. One day, I decided that living out here just wasn't enough. I wanted to go to the big city. Now, my family begged me to stay. They told me how much they loved me, how much they needed me. They reminded me of all the good times, but I didn't listen. Off to the big city I went. But it wasn't long before I knew that I had made a mistake. No one loved me in the big city. I had no family and I was all alone. But I was lucky because I could just flop my wings and head back home. Back home to my family and that's just what I did. I don't know what happened, but when I got home, there was no one to greet me, no family, no friends, just empty space. Oh, I see a bus is here, so go on, get along, but remember, there is nothing more important than your family. The bus pulled up, came to a stop, the doors opened, and Buzz's family stepped out carrying souvenirs from the big city. We all went looking for you and I'll be glad you're home. Betty Buzzard said with a smile. That's all about the story of Buzz the Buzzard. Thank you children. Till next time.